Assalamu alaikum and good morning again to all of my students and whoever is watching this video right now. I hope and pray that you're all in very, very good health, enjoying yourself, enjoying the day, enjoying the lectures and spreading happiness everywhere. And so um, we are uh, today going to discuss um, a little about uh, something which we need for our life. Remember, we um, learned about the needs and the wants um, for the people, for the society, what we actually, there are some things which we really need, that we need shelter, we need a food, we need air, and we need to wear something, right? Because we are humans and we need to cover ourselves by wearing the clothes. Well, animals have uh, different uh, things. They have fur, they have different skins to cover themselves. Uh, animals don't wear clothing as humans, but humans uh, wear clothing. And <coughs> uh, we have different types of clothing. We don't all wear the same clothes. Um, it's like very different um, in even like in a country. Uh, there are like different people for, from different places. They wear different clothing, right? In, uh, in our different provinces, even people have different kind of uh, clothing. There are something which is very specific for these places. Uh, like in, uh, if you talk about Sain, the they people like Ajrak is the most famous uh, uh, fabric or clothing over there, uh, which is um, known as a Sindhi uh, clothing Ajrak. And same as in Punjab, there is like uh, they used to wear uh, uh, the kind of like different clothing they wear. Uh, if you go up in north, they wear like different kind of clothings. Uh, they are made up of different kind of uh, material. Why? Because this is very cold. And if you talk about like uh, Punjab province, uh, the weather, uh, the uh, climate is very different over here. So mostly people use uh, they don't wear warm clothes over here for the whole year. Uh, they switch to warm and the light clothes uh, but up in the north there is a time when it's not very cold so they were a little light clothes but not I think as we wear very light clothes um, and same as in Balochistan, people wear like different kind of turbans. Uh, they have like different kind of uh, clothing, which shows uh, their tradition, which shows uh, their uh, the people around there, uh, the weather, the climate, and like many the their traditions as well, right? So there are like many different ways people wear clothing. But when we have a small child, they almost wear um, the same thing. Um, uh, like they wear a shirt, like if they're a big boy or a baby girl, they almost wear the same kind of clothing. Yeah, the colors are a little different, but these days, otherwise in before time, is, uh, it was not even um, different shade like in colors. You cannot see that if the child is wearing the pink or the blue, they'll be wearing like, and neutral colors for both uh, boys and girls. So, but the uh, when you grow up, you start looking at yourself. You see, you're wearing different type of things. Boys different wear different kind of uh, clothing. Girls wear different kind of clothing. So um, then you start noticing yourself, and you start looking at yourself. Okay, what am I wearing? What should I wear? What I like to wear? And then, and when you grow up, like adult, as your teachers, then you select uh, and you uh, say whether this is the comfortable thing you should wear, and then you wear occasionally different kind of clothes. If it's a, um, a shadi, something is getting married, so there are different kind of clothes you wear. Um, if it's Eid, so we don't wear very, very um, gaudy and shiny clothes. Uh, in summers, we wear different kind of clothes. In winter, the clothing is different. So, and the colors even. The colors make the clothes very, very beautiful. There are some favorite colors of yours, which you want in your wardrobe. So there are like different kind of things. But um, at this point in time, with your age, um, uh, you have um, even options. You even choose your clothing. Uh, kids today's kids are very smart. They know what to wear and how do they look smart. So we are going to discuss a little about clothing. So before we're going to start, I um, uh, we are going to just have a look at uh, some of the pictures pictures uh, which uh, is going to uh, give us a little of clothing right so um we haven't uh, like exactly differentiate them um in like boys and girls clothing or maybe some specific clothings but we are just going to um 
have a look at them. Like there are like different kind of clothings which normally people wear. Like um, we uh, in Pakistan mostly we wear shalwar kameez, right? Uh, even like women wear shalwar kameez, girls wear shalwar kameez, even boys and men they wear shalwar kameez because that is our national dress. Uh, but yes, we wore we wear saris as well, and we like uh, girls and ladies, uh, women they wear like different kind of. Uh, uh, clothings. They have a variety of clothing. Like they wear gararas and they wear shararas and they wear saris. They wear uh, plazos and um, pants and uh, shirts and like and they have like different kind of shirts. And um, the women have so much of variety. So, but as compared to women, if you talk about men, they have like a less kind of varieties. They can wear shalwar kameez. They can wear shoot. They can wear a pant shirt. And um, yeah, that's it. I think. Yeah, they can wear shorts in summers. Uh, but that is the casual dressing. So we are just going to have a look at the clothing, uh, the general clothing, right? So no specific ones uh, for the region or for the people maybe in Pakistan. We're just discussing about uh, the general clothing right now, okay? So um, we are going to start uh, with the, uh, something pants, right? Pants. So pants is like um, now these days uh, men also wear pants and women also wear pants. So P A N T S pants. Uh, they are being like they can be jeans, they can be dress pants, uh, they can be uh, from a different material. But pants are normally where um, uh, like here women and men both wear pants. Okay, then we have something like this. Now this is a this is a jacket, right? This is called jacket. Now jacket even comes in different um, materials. Uh, we wear jacket in the summers as well, but that is of different material. Again, obviously we may we wear jacket in um, winters uh, to keep ourselves warm, but that is of different material. That is, being, they, they are different jackets, right? So jacket is even this is generic uh, thing which um, men even wear and women even wear, kids even wear, everybody wear uh, jacket, right? Um, and uh, but, but they're different for women, they're different for men, they're a little different, uh, obviously, and if the, for the kids, they are all colorful. So the jacket is uh, the clothing as well. Uh, then uh, we have, um, this is shirt with the sleeves and this is called, you can also call it a jersey, right? So this is the uh, full shirt, uh, which is also called the jersey. So uh, men wear these. Okay, now there's another thing in the clothing as well. So we will be discussing the general things today. So this is also the something which we wear. What is it? Yeah, belt. This is a belt. Yes, that's right. This is a belt. So belt even like men uh, also wear, women wears, and even kids wear belts with the shorts, with the pants, right? So belt is even very common. Uh, everybody wears a uh, belt when they're wearing the jeans, uh, when they're wearing the pants, even uh, they wear it on the uh, long frocks, um, the maxis, uh, women wear belt on that. Okay, then we have um, something which mostly men wear, but women also wears sometimes, occasionally, uh, if uh, they're uh, working somewhere, they have to go officially, they have to wear and dress up uh, officially. So they wear this necktie. This is a necktie, right? They do two types of uh, ties. There's a necktie and there's a bow tie. So uh, this is very common, the necktie. So we're discussing about the necktie, which mostly you have seen men are wearing over here. So, but uh, women also uh, wear this, okay? Then we have this, uh, which is commonly wear, um, and this is a shirt, right? This is called a shirt. This is also for like both men and women. Uh, they both wear this shirt with pant and even with the um, uh, jeans, right? They can be like of different, uh, they can be like button up, uh, they can be like uh, without the buttons, they can be like different uh, designs, but this is called shirt, right? Then with shirts, kids and uh, men, they wear shorts, right? They're not full pants, they are till your knee. So that's why they are called 
sharks. Yes, they're called sharks. Okay. Then uh, when they have to go formal, the men, if they have to go formal, they wear suits like this. And they're like different kinds of suits. They have got like different names. So, uh, but this is uh, the formal dress where, uh, which men wear when they have to attend uh, some party or maybe the meeting, or maybe they have to go, or, or go uh, official meeting, something, official dinner, official something. So they wear the suits, right? Then very common, uh, everybody wears this shoes, right? And they're very, very different kind of shoes. Um, these are kind of like, you can say sneakers, uh, they are joggers, they are slippers, they are sandals, they are heels. They are like variety of shoes, uh, which everybody, everybody wears shoes. Like we need shoes, uh, whether we are in, in home, whether we go out, uh, we have to wear shoes, right? To walk comfortably and then uh, to walk, uh, but you cannot wear joggers when you're going on a wedding, obviously. And though they're very comfortable, you feel like wearing joggers wherever you go, even like if you're wearing a sari or if you're wearing a garara even, but like you cannot wear because uh, you have to look at the attire completely that should be uh, well in place. So though it's very comfortable to wear joggers all the time, but we don't wear joggers, and, uh, joggers all the time or sneakers all the time, but shoes are the very important part of our clothing. Then um, men uh, mostly wear this, and uh, this is called a waistcoat. Now the waistcoat uh, men wear with the shalwar kameez uh, mostly. So uh, this looks even very good. This is a little, uh, you can say a traditional um, waistcoats we have. Uh, boys uh, wear it on the mandis and uh, uh, occasional, uh, they wear it on eads as well. And that looks very, very, very nice. So the waistcoat is one of the clothing uh, which boys wear. And then uh, we wear um, scarves. So there are different kinds of scarves. We don't only wear scarves in uh, winters. Uh, there are different kinds of scarves and like um, if we make it a little wider that makes us uh, that makes our dupatta right so dupatta is kind of a scarf but that's a little wider a little bigger so this is also which we normally wear uh, then we wear uh, with the uh, shoes we even wear boots as well there are like different kind of boots. They can be long, uh, they can not be long, they can be of leather, they can be of uh, different materials. So boots is one of the uh, dress, um, the clothing which we wear. Okay, then when if it's summer, uh, we wear hat. Mostly here in Pakistan, we don't wear hat much. Uh, in America, in the UK, like they, they wear hats. Um, the mostly here, uh, people used to wear turbans before to cover their head uh, from the sunlight and from the um, uh, uh, from the cold even, uh, because it's good to cover yourself, right? Uh, then, yes, we have uh, sweaters. We wear them uh, in winters. Uh, so sweater is, it is, it, it does not have buttons. Right, so you now this is uh, covered, and these uh, uh, these are the kind of uh, clothing which we wear in the winters. And yes, there is something like called the skirts. Girls wear it when they're small, right? Um, it, it, but uh, abroad, uh, even girls, even grown up, like the women, even uh, they wear the skirts. So skirt is also one of the clothing. Uh, then uh, we uh, even wear gloves. Uh, when we are driving, we wear gloves. Uh, when we are uh, riding a bike, we wear gloves. Uh, in winters, we wear gloves, right? Uh, so uh, this is um, gloves, which is the part of the clothing. Uh, yeah. Then we have, yeah, we raincoat. The raincoat is also clothing. When it's raining, uh, we used to wear it so our clothes don't get uh, wet. So the raincoat is also a very important part of the clothing. So we should have at least one raincoat uh, with us um, uh, because everywhere it rains, like in uh, Lahore as well. So raincoat is also clothing. And then when we're wearing boots, uh, we wear socks as well. So socks is also uh, the part of our clothing, very important, right? Uh, then uh, we have uh, 
glasses, yes, glasses are a very important part of our clothing, right? Uh, because uh, that protects uh, us from the UV rays, from the sunlight, and that's very important. Uh, then uh, girls wear shalwar kameez, and they also wear saris as well, right? Uh, women wear saris as well. And uh, uh, yes, women even wear a necklace. This is even the part of clothing. When we dress up, we wear the necklace, we wear the earrings, and that is also the part of clothing. And when we're all done, when we have um, done the whole day and we have to go to the bed, then we change our clothes and we uh, change into our pajamas. So we should feel more comfortable because they are loose and they're comfortable. And um, we change it because we have to go to bed, right? So um, now there are different kinds of clothing. So I'm just going to share a uh, picture with you so that uh, just telling you that I think you know how to dress up yourself, right? So this uh, picture is telling you to put your shirt on. How are you to put this shirt on? Now, if you look at the first picture, this is telling you that uh, you are going to pull the shirt towards your head, right? So you are going to pull your shirt towards your head. You're going to pull it up like this, right? And then from inside, you're going to push right up, arm up into your sleeves, right? Your head, your neck is done, like right? you have pulled your shirt over your head, right and now from inside your shirt you need to push right arm up into the sleeve as you can say see in the second picture right and then over here look at this picture now you should push your left arm up up into the sleeve and this will even go up and now your neck your head is out your arm is out and your second arm is out so that means you know how to put your shirt on right so this practice you should do at home um with the shirt but the shirt should be a little loose so that will be comfortable for you to pull up your arms from the uh, armholes from the shirt right uh then i am going to show you uh, another picture i hope that shows it's not showing yeah it is showing Okay, so I'm going to show you uh, the uh, pictures of uh, girls' clothing. Oh, have a look at this. Girls' clothing is very, very colorful. Um, it, it, it has got accessories. It is colorful and um, girls look very cute when they wear it. So if you look at this, the red shirt, uh, there are two yellow bows uh, for the head, like the ponies or maybe uh, the, uh, putting something on head. Then uh, there are sandals, there's a jean, there's a beautiful red shirt and there's a beautiful necklace. See? So that is really, really cute. Uh, these are even like girls wear bangles even they look so pretty in them uh, this is uh, for girls and I'm going to show you the boys uh, summer style wow this is even nice look at them they have got shorts and they've got very trendy shirts and they've got slippers uh, they've got like uh, sneakers as well and uh, wow they have a cap and glasses wow that is great so even boys are colorful there's a pink short and a peach shirt mm. and the blue blue kind of shirt and uh, cap very nice this even looks wonderful 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 so uh, the clothing for the boys and the girls is different uh they all are colorful but the girls are more colorful they have different accessories uh, which boys does not have like uh, something to put on their head something to put in your ears something to put in the neck something to put in the wrist so there there, there are many things uh, which they enjoy and enjoy shopping as well 
So this was a little about clothing in which we have discussed the general clothing. Um, and I hope you enjoyed and learned a, a little about that. So I'm going to say goodbye from this class and I'll see you in the next class inshallah be soon. Till then stay safe, be happy and be grateful for whatever you have. So see you, see you soon um, inshallah. Till then, bye-bye and Allah